Now let's go ahead and go over class B subnetting, network bits, host bits, and what are the subnet bits. So let's go ahead and take a look. So we talked about previously in class B, the range goes from 128 to 191, and a default subnet mask is 255.255.0.0, decimal format, and the prefix format would be 16 for the default subnet mask class B, which means it will give us 16 bits for the network bits and 16 bits for the host bits. So the first octet and the second octet, here as we can see all the bits turned on. So let's turn on 16 bits for the network bits. This is a default subnet mask for class B. And we have 16 bits for the host bits default subnet mask class B. And we talked about the number of hosts is pretty much 2 to the power of host bits minus 2, which is 2 to the power of 16. How many host bits do we have? Zeros represents host bits and ones represents network bits. So in this case we have 16 zeros for default subnet mask class B, 16 bits for hosts. So 2 to the power of 16 minus 2 which is 65,534. Now let's talk about subnet bits. Let's say they give us a side notation of 18. So we know this is now the default subnet mask. This 18 means 18 bits turned on going from left to right. So here we have 8 plus 8, that's 16, 17 and 18. So let's borrow from the host bits. So all the original default network bits considered network bits, so all this is a network bits. There's a default subnet mask for class B. We have 16 bits for network. In other words, 16 ones, right? And then we had 16 zeros based on the default subnet mask. Zeros represents host bits. So from host bits, in this example, we borrowed two bits. So these two bits known as subnet bits and all the zeros known as host bits. So we know this is not a default subnet mask anymore. So it will give us a different value. And I'm gonna erase this as well. And we will have different number. What do you think? More available IP addresses we will have or less available IP addresses we will have? Very good. Anytime when we are subnetting, breaking a big network into the smaller subnetworks, we will have less available IP addresses. In other words, anytime when we are moving the cut line from left to right, we are doing subnetting. So we will borrow from the host bits. Therefore, we will have less number of host bits and it will give us less available IP addresses. So this was our original default subnet mask with the side notation of 18. Now this is our new cut line. So all these bits, network bits, and all the zeros, host bits. And of course, these two of the network bits known as the subnet bits because we borrowed from the host bits. So let's see how many available IP addresses we can have with the 18 and how many number of subnets we can have. So the number of hosts, two to the power of host bits minus two because of a network address and a broadcast address, right? It's reserved, we cannot use them. So we have to do the minus two, two, to the power of how many host bits we have now? 8 bits here plus 6 bits here, which is 14, which is 16,384 minus 2, 16,382 available IP addresses per subnet. Originally, it was one big subnet with 65,534 available IP addresses. Let's see how many subnets we have now. So, the number of subnets. 2 to the power of subnet bits. How many subnet bits we have? These two known as the subnet bits. Again, the bits that we borrow from the host bits known as the subnet bits. In this case, these two. All these ones, that's the original default subnet mask. These two we borrowed from the host bits. So we have two subnet bits. 2 to the power of 2 is 4. So we'll have 4 subnet bits. 
and each subnet will have 16,382 available IP addresses per subnet. Now what is new subnet mask? Well here, if we convert this binary to decimal, all the 8 bits turned on gives us 255. Here, all the 8 bits turned on gives us 255. Here, on a third octet, we have only 2 bits turned on. In this example, you know, the forward slash 18. So that's 18 ones network bits. Therefore, in a third octet, only these two turned on. So if we convert the binary to decimal, 128 plus 64, because these two is only turned on, right? We just need to add the decimal values of the binary bits that it's on. 1 means on, 0 means off. So 128 plus 64 is 192. Dot, on the last octet, all the 8 bits turned off. So it's 0. Therefore, we know this is not a default subnet mask anymore. For class B, default subnet mask is 255.255.0.0. Having 255.255.192.0, it's not a default subnet mask for class B. This known as classless subnet mask. And with this subnet mask, we will have four subnets, every subnet, 16,382 available IP addresses. And if we want to write down this subnet mask in a shorter version, the cider notation format, forward slash 18. 18 bits turned on for the network. So again, as we talked about it earlier, if we move this cut line to the right, we will have less available of IP addresses because we will have less available of host bits. So that's a subnetting. Moving cut line from left to right, breaking a large network into the smaller network to better manage the network or not to waste too many IP addresses or for security reasons, we do subnetting. For example, let's say if they say uh, 4 slash 21. So I'm going to go ahead and erase. Let's say 18. And of course, the number will change. And this will change as well. Okay, let's write down 21 here. Forward slash 21. So what does it mean? We have to count 21 going from left to right, right? 8 plus 8, that's 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we know we borrowed all this as well. Another example, I'm just using 4 slash 21. So let's borrow more bits. So now our cut line is here. We borrowed from the host bits, so all this is subnet bits. So this was our original default subnet mask cut line, 255.255.0.0. We moved it to the right. We borrowed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bits from the host bits. This will give us 21 ones and 11 zeros. So number of hosts, 2 to the power of 11 minus 2, which is 2048 minus 2, 2046. So 2046 available IP addresses per subnet. Now how many subnets we have? We will have more subnets. So when we move the cut line to the right, we will have more subnets, but less available IP addresses per subnet. So how many subnet bits we have in this example? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 2 to the power of 5, which is 32. We will have 32 subnets, each subnet 2046 available IP addresses. When we have a side notation of forward slash 21 and the new subnet mask is 255, here we see. Here on the second octet also 255, all the bits turned on. On the third octet we have only 5 bits turned on, which is 248. On the last octet all the bits turned off, it's 0. So we know this is also not a default subnet mask because default subnet mask for class B is 255.255.0.0. But this one, 255.255.248.0, that's a classless subnet mask. And having class B network address with this subnet mask will give us 32 number of subnets, each subnet 2046 available IP addresses. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section. 
And if you haven't subscribed to our channel and you want to see more tech videos like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. So thanks again and have a good day.